Hello friends, welcome to the Selenium tutorial website. In the previous session, we saw how to install Java software in our system. In this tutorial, we'll see how to download and use the Java editor. So we'll be downloading a popular Java editor called Eclipse. So from where to download this, there is a standard website www.eclipse.org slash downloads. Here you'll find the Eclipse Java editor. So since I am using a 32-bit system, I would be installing 32-bit version of Eclipse. Uh, in the center of this page you have where I just click it and start the download of 32-bit Eclipse. When I click that, uh, the site takes me to another link uh, where there is this option. What I do is again I just click over here to start my download. Once your download gets completed, you will have this kind of a zip file in your downloads folder. So what next you have to do is right click on it and do an extract. I will click on extract all over here. And click this extract button. So once your extraction gets completed, you'll have this folder in at the same location. If you have not changed the location, if you double click on it, you'll have this folder Eclipse and within Eclipse, you'll have a number of files. And if you see over here, we have the Eclipse EXE created and this is the Eclipse software I was talking about. So if you want to launch it, I'll just do a double click and Eclipse will launch. I just click on run button over here and wait for it to launch. So as you can see Eclipse is launching. When we launch Eclipse for the first time it asks for a workspace. Now workspace is a location on your disk where all your Java related projects like using Eclipse whatever projects you create the class files the code would be stored in this workspace. So I'm not changing it you may if you want to. You may change, make a, another folder in your hard drive. It's default location. I'm not changing it. I'm just clicking on OK. So you can see Eclipse has launched. On the top right hand corner, you could see something called Workbench. You'll have to click that. And here you go. This is the place where you would be writing your Java code. You'll be creating your Java projects everything would be done over here. So what I'll do is here is I'll create a very small Java project and write a one line code just to check whether Eclipse and Java software have been configured correctly in my system. So how to do that? It's very simple. Go to file, new, Java project, Here you have to give a name to your project. I would give test1. Just I am making this project for testing purpose. You have to do nothing else. You have to just click on this finish button. And your project will get created. So as you can see on the left hand corner. This project has been created. Now, now I want to check whether java and eclipse have been configured correctly in my system so i would be writing a small code so for that i would be creating a class how to do that right click on the project new class here you have to give a name to your class I would write as class 1. This is just a name. I am writing this code just for testing purpose. And I will check this option. Public static void main. What happens is when I click finish. The class would get created. And since I had checked this option. A default main method would get created within the class itself. It is not mandatory. If we will uncheck it. Then you could write the main method 
within the class also. So this is how the class look, look, looks like and since we had checked that option to include the main method, it has by default come within the class. So to check whether everything has been installed successfully, I would write a one line code over here. Just system.out.println hello world to check whether everything is working fine. Now I will execute it. To execute it, I right click anywhere on the screen. Go to the run as option and run this as a Java application. If everything is fine, then in the console, we'll get the message hello world. So now here it is asking me whether I have to save this file. I'll say an OK. And here you go within the console, we can see hello world written, which means installation of Java and configuring the same with Eclipse has been done successfully. So what we have done is we have completed two steps. We have installed Java. We have configured Eclipse. Now next is configuring this Eclipse with the Selenium web driver jar files, which I'll be covering in my next session. Thanks guys for joining. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.